Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss one example, a scenario-based question for finite automata construction. So we are going to create a finite state automata for a password scheme. And this is a, a given scenario. Okay, so it is a leading film industry in India have a unique password setting scheme. Their employee must create their password adhering to the rules. So these two are the rules that we want to consider. It should start with the letter of I or J or K. Okay, so either with I or J or K, we're going to start and the fifth symbol from the right end should be I. So uh, like if it is fifth symbol, the minimum length of the password that you're going to create should be greater than five. So you'll have five elements here. And from this right end, your fifth symbol, one, two, three, four, five. Fifth symbol should be I. So this is the only criteria set. So the length of the password is at least five symbols should be there. So to process this five symbol, how many states are need, needed? It'll have plus one number of states. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and one more state is needed for one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'm just counting the gaps. Okay. So here one input is processed, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So the length of the input is greater than five. And from the writing, the first, second, third, fourth symbol might be anything of I or J or K. I or J or K. J or K. I, J or K. And one, two, three, four. Fifth symbol and from the right end. Okay, it it should be I, and in the prefix you can have either I or J or K. It should start with the letter of either I or J or K. Okay, so it satisfy all the criteria, and from the right end, the fifth symbol is I. Okay, so this is your NFA structure. They haven't mentioned whether it is an NFA or DFA. Okay, with all those three uh, elements, creating a DFA will be difficult. We'll just focus on this NFA construction alone. I'll just name the state as one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, what is the next thing? They ask you to give the tuple structure. So for NFA or DFA, how many tuples are needed? I'll have Q, Sigma, transition, starting state, and final, set of all final states. So here my states are one, two, three, four, five, and six. And my input symbols are I or J or K. And del as a transition function, we'll define it later. Q naught, uh, so the starting state here is one, one is the starting state. And here I have only one final state that is state six. This is a tubal notation. And, um, where del is given as transition of state one on input as i. This is an NFA, right? So you'll have multiple possibility. One, when the input is i, you have two possibility codes to state two. Or uh, it goes to either state one or state two. Okay, similarly, transition of state one on j, you have only one transition. One on K, it goes to state one. Transition of two on I, you have to write all the transition. Two on I, two on J, two on K, it goes to state three. Three on I, three on J, K go for, goes to four and write all the possible transitions. Okay, you have to complete all those things. So that is the final answer that is requested, required. Okay, so we have to find a way of mapping the scenario and drawing this finite automata first. And later on, you have all the conversions, right? NFA to DFA or DFA to NFA or some conversions are there. Okay, so DFA to regular expression, regular expression types on NFA to DFA. Any conversion might be asked in the exam. Okay, thank you.